Officials at all levels are promising to get to the bottom of the deadly explosion at U.S. Steel's Clareton plant. As we've reported, workers were said to be heating coal and preparing for routine maintenance when the blast rocked the plant. Timothy Quinn and another man whose family's requesting privacy were killed. Ten other workers were hurt. U.S. Steel says it's committed to a transparent investigation. And Congresswoman Summer Lee is vowing to hold it accountable. So that we can get the full truth of not just what happened, how it happened, and what do we do now, what needs to be done to make sure that something like this never happens again. And we're hearing directly from investigators for the first time about what they're looking for and what could happen once they determine what caused the explosion. KDK's Ricky Sayer reports how they hope it can help prevent a recurrence. There are multiple investigations taking place here. We spoke with the investigator in charge from the U.S. Chemical Safety Board. He told us that while they don't have the power to force change, they can make recommendations. The U.S. Chemical Safety Board isn't deployed often, but when it is, the purpose is clear. The work we do uh, is important because uh, if we do it correctly, we can issue recommendations that will improve the safety of all the workers at these sites. To do that, chemical incident investigator William Steiner says they perform a thorough investigation, one that in Clarendon's case is just getting started. Basically today we were just able to see the initial debris field as the site still being made safe uh, to allow uh, further entry. Interviews with steelworkers also began today to get their perspective on what went wrong. We've already made a document request to U.S. Steel and they're cooperating with the CSB. U.S. Steel President David Burrett says it's important to avoid speculating. We need to get the facts. Facts are friendly and we're going to support the local investigators, the state investigators, the federal investigators. We're going to make sure that we get to the root cause. And when we get to that root cause, we can be assured that this doesn't happen again. In past investigations at other companies, Steiner says they've recommended more federal oversight, such as after a dust explosion. We also have asked for federal oversight on reactive chemicals, which have caused explosions and fatalities. He's unsure if Clarendon would fall into that category. A U.S. Steel spokesperson tells us OSHA visits their facilities as the federal safety regulator of the Mon Valley Works. Steiner says additional oversight can be important. This is Governor Shapiro said it prevents us from forgetting these people that have lost their life and allows them to go home to their families. We are waiting to hear back from OSHA on how often they inspect this specific plant. As for the U.S. Chemical Safety Board's final report, we're told that could take 18 months or more to come out, but they do say that they should be able to release some updates in the next couple of months. Reporting in Clarendon, Ricky Sayer, KDK TV News.